For months, the media and dozens of lawmakers have constantly and confidently accused President Trump of being Vladimir Putin's puppet, agreeing to follow his orders in return for having Russia hack the election, whatever that means. In this case, watch. We are being played as fools by a spy master in chief, a former KGB officer, director of Russian intelligence. But uh, listen, if you want to believe the worst here, if you want to believe that Putin is literally pulling the strings of this administration, then this is exactly how it would play out. Yet we have a president who not only denies the Russian attack and has a strange infatuation with President Putin, but is also suggesting policies that dangerously puppet those of Putin. Why does President-elect Trump again and again and again take it upon himself to be Vladimir Putin's defense lawyer? Well, now President Trump has bombed an actual Russian puppet, Bashar al-Assad of Syria. So what is the story going forward? Congressman Seth Moulton represents the state of Massachusetts. Last month, he said, quote, Donald Trump's minions are paid by the Russian regime. Congressman Moulton joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. So you're one of the first people I thought of when uh, the Trump administration sent those missiles into Syria, into the puppet regime of Vladimir Putin. And I thought, pretty embarrassing moment for you, isn't it? No, not at all. And in fact, I think I was the first to come out with a bipartisan statement from Congress saying two things, saying that President Trump did the right thing to hold Bashar Assad accountable for using chemical weapons against innocent right. people, but also that we need a plan going forward. And I stand by both of those points, and I stand by them in a bipartisan way. Well, those are entirely legitimate points, and I'm not, I'm not questioning the substance of them or the motivation behind them. I'm pointing to the statements that you have made for weeks and months preceding that missile strike when you said, for example, there's a lot of evidence that members of this administration are more concerned with Russia's goals than our own. They continually prioritize the desires of the Kremlin. Here you have the Trump administration, for good or ill, acting against the main foreign policy objective of the Putin regime, which is supporting Assad. So your view of this doesn't square with reality. Aren't you a little bit embarrassed now that that's obvious? <laughs> No, no, not at all. And, and first of all, I don't think we know what uh, Putin's number one foreign policy goal is. I don't think it's Assad in Syria. I think he has a lot of bigger fish, fish to fry. And obviously, he's interested most of all in the United States of America. Uh, but look, Tucker, you know, you and I can disagree on the Trump administration's to connections with Russia. Uh, the bottom line is I don't think either of us really know. And that's why I've been a consistent advocate for what the American people want which is an independent bipartisan investigation to get to the bottom of this. And you know what? There's a part of me that really hopes you're right, that hopes that I am embarrassed at the end of the day, and we find out that there isn't any collusion behind mm. the scenes between an American president and Russia. But we all deserve to know, and that's why I've been but that's calling not the for argument this bipartisan you've been making. investigation. That, that's one of the things you've been saying. I don't think it's a crazy thing to ask for. But as I just read, you have said, quote, members of the administration are more concerned with Russia's goals than our own. They're traitors, in other words. They're working for a hostile foreign power. These are your words. They're on your website. I'm not making them up. And I'm just asking you, how does that claim square with what we saw on Thursday night where we bombed a client state of Russia? Well, first of all, I mean, you know, w w one exception does not prove the rule. I mean, you know, this could very well be interpreted as an attempt by the uh, administration to get out from under the claim that they're colluding with Russia. But the bottom line is that, you know, wow, we don't really, really know. Sneaky. There are a lot so of things that Trump has saying. done that seem like they're playing right into the hands of Putin. We ought to just find out, Tucker. And, okay, and I think so you and I ought to be able to agree on that. So increasing the size of our nuclear arsenal, deregulating the energy sector, backing the Keystone Pipeline. And these are all things that the Russians hate, and for good reason. And yet you're saying that still there's no evidence that Trump is not in the pocket of Putin. Even when he bombs yeah, I... a country where Russian troops are stationed now, propping up the regime of Bashar al-Assad. That's not enough evidence for you that he's not puppet, Putin's puppet? Right. Right. And, and, and called the Russians to make sure they got their troops out of the way. I mean... I'm on the Armed Services Committee. Should he didn't he not consult with us before, uh, before doing that, uh, but he did feel it fine to call the Russians. So it's hard mm -hmm. to say that he wasn't concerned about the Russian troops. You, what, what, uh, the well, bottom well, line well, is well, this. Well, I could get, look, Tucker, I could give you a long list of things that Trump right has done no, wait, I'm sorry, uh, with Russia. You just said it. Let me just back you up and get you to explain what you just suggested. Are you saying 
that this was part of an elaborate ruse, that in fact he was working with the Russians, I think you suggested a minute ago, to divert attention from this diabolical conspiracy you've been alleging, that this was a Potemkin bombing, a fake bombing, designed to fool the rest of us into thinking they're not really in league with each other? No, look, I didn't say it was a, I, I confirmed that as an explanation. I said well, that that saying? is a believable, viable explanation, which is no different than what you're saying. I mean, there's a lot of evidence. I mean, we've heard uh, investigation after investigation well, uncover stones that I'm have uh, Trump administration of officials colluding with uh, contacting uh, intelligence officials with the Russians and then lying about it. I mean, we've heard that no, uh, with Jared Kushner. We've no, heard that with on. Jeff Sessions. This we've is heard a different that magnitude. Uh, with a long but, list. Well, so so you're, this conspiracy is a lot deeper than I thought it was. So you're saying, I mean, it's one thing to say, okay, members of the Trump administration met with Russian officials. That kind of thing happens a lot. Maybe it's ominous, maybe it's not. Well, you're and to saying, lie about it. And, and okay, that's an that, important that, that, thing. That's no, you're about saying it. now that the, that the military action we just saw on Thursday night may have been coordinated with the Russians to throw sleuths like you off the scent. That appears to be what you're saying. And that just seems like a huge conspiracy to me. <laughs> well, it's a conspiracy if it's a conspiracy, but the reality is I'm just giving it to you as a plausible explanation. No, plausible and that's why I said whom? I'm not going to confirm it. <laughs> I, look, I know you would know love for me to say that? that and confirm it. I'm just saying that there are people who think that. There are Americans who think who that. Who are they? And that's, an, uh, that's, that's a, as logical an explanation so, as any as you've given for Trump not colluding with the Russians. So, look, wait, the wait, bottom wait, line wait, is who are these that Americans Trump took who some think action that this was a fake that I think military was, action designed to throw people off the scent. Who thinks that? I mean, you said, well, I'll tell you, a lot of the people, well, I'll tell you, there's a majority of Americans who want an independent investigation into That's what's going on. That's very different from what you're saying. And it's though. hard That's to understand, Tucker, why you're opposed to that. Why are you opposed to having Ooh, an independent, I'm not, bipartisan I'm not investigation against, oh, into down. what's going on? You're trying on. to change the subject. I'm not arguing against an independent, bipartisan investigation. If you could put one together, I guess I'd be for it. But you're saying that there are people okay, who believe... Okay, I just want to make sure you're on the record for that, because that's important, Tucker. Now we're getting into tinfoil hat territory. It. There are people who believe that Putin and Trump got together and said, hey, I have an idea to throw Congressman Moulton off the trail. Why don't we pretend to be in conflict with each other? Why don't we have the Prime Minister of Russia? Did you see this? This is what Medvedev said. This puts us on the verge of a military clash. Our relations are completely ruined. Do you think he's just faking it? He's just saying that for public consumption to fool you? Uh, Tucker, that, that's very flattering that you think uh, Donald Trump is concerned about my particular views on the issue. No, no, uh, this, this but all is I'm the Russian saying government is that, saying that, that we don't know. We don't know what's going on here. But what we ought to talk about is what we can agree on, which is that, that Trump actually, I mean, look, here I'm a Democrat from I'm Massachusetts starting to worry about, telling I'm you starting that I support to worry Trump's about action. About you. I support Trump's action in right, Syria. I get it. But I'm also saying that the, the, that the Constitution demands that any further action requires Congress to come together in a bipartisan way and authorize that. And that's no. what we should be talking um, about but, here. But, uh, look, what, look, where I is the end game? That, where is with Trump that. going Th with those this? Those are all That's fair actually questions. the important question. No, the important question is you are suggesting the President of the United States coordinated a military attack on a country with the knowledge of Russia in order to divert attention away from the Russian election hacking scandal. And that's a conspiracy so grand, so complex, so baroque that I stand in awe of the possibility that that's real. And I stand in awe of the fact that you think that's possibly real, and I sit awaiting the name of one person who agrees with you that that possibly happened. Just one. Tell me one person who hey, is hey, saying hey, this. You know what, Tucker? I just threw that out as an alternative hypothesis. I didn't say that they were actually colluding with Russia. I'm just saying that maybe this is a way for them to say we're willing to stand up to the Russian regime. Uh, you're implying that they would be colluding with Russia. Maybe you know well, something about what, the Trump-Russia connections what were that even saying? I don't know. No, no, what were but you the saying? bottom no, line, you, no, well, you said he the bottom call, line is call us in Congress, the bottom line is Tucker. Putin. What's the point of that? What were you implying? I mean, the what, bottom what line you're is you're implying there's a conspiracy, which apparently you think there no, is. The bottom line is Tucker. That what, that what Trump has done in Syria is okay, but one of the, some of the things that he's done in the past are not. And some of the things that his administration officials and his campaign officials have done in the past are not. And we ought to be willing to just address okay. that in a bipartisan okay. but way. Look, in a way that says, uh, you know no what, Russia is an enemy us. of the United States. Russia is an enemy of the United States. You've said Let's Russia be is willing the number to stand one up to them. enemy. Hold on. We just bombed Syria. There are Russian troops in Syria supporting the government who we're we told seeking to get out of the way. Overthrow. Yes, that's right. Okay, so again, we're back to your conspiracy, but let's just get to facts really quick. You said recently, and again, it's on your website as of tonight, that Russia is America's number one enemy. Number one enemy. Which, so you would yes, put I think Russia right. above ISIS, for example. You think Russia is a greater threat to America than ISIS? 
Well, I think in the long run, Russia is, and, and there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, one is which that they're very clearly trying to undermine our democracy uh, in ways that ISIS does not have the capability of doing. And the other that, of course, Russia has a nuclear arsenal that is targeted at us at this very moment. And, and, that's, why, and that's why they're dangerous. But it we has have been to targeted at us since 1947. Russia is an enemy very seriously. Okay. So, but you Actually, think... I, I just want to Look, Russia clear. is in Russia violation is of the intermediate nuclear ISIS. forces treaty right now, Tucker, sure and this is. administration hasn't done anything about it. <laughs> okay. How do you explain that? <laughs> I mean, oh, who cares about a nuclear weapons treaty? Okay. I'll tell Look, you, President I mean, Reagan you sure wanted, cares about that. This is I mean, he would be rolling over in his grave if he knows that Trump's not standing up to the Russians on this. R right. Look, so, the bottom so line is that we ought to be able to come together on the uh -huh. fact that Russia no, you, is an enemy and we stand up to them. you repeated your talking point nine times. But let me, you have an answer Well, maybe you just don't like it, Tucker, is, but it's, a, it's not a talking agree, point, it's the reality. I'm agreeing, with, I'm agreeing with you, Congressman. That's fine. You just haven't answered why, if the president's doing the bidding of the Russians, our greatest enemy, worse than ISIS, then why is he seeking to expand the American nuclear arsenal? Why is he taking money from domestic programs and putting it toward the Pentagon? Why is he pushing NATO, uh, our NATO partners to put more into their own defense? Those are not things the Russian government wants. They're the opposite of what the Russian government wants. Contend with the facts and get back to me on how that all squares up. Well, look, you can give plenty of things that you like about what Trump is doing. Uh, I don't I was even sitting like those things. I'm, I'm just telling you, Russia doesn't <laughs> like them. Well, look, I was sitting on the Armed Services Committee uh, a week ago when we had a, a bipartisan hearing um, where we talked about the fact that Trump is trying to cut the State Department budget and a lot of programs that are used to counter Russian influence in Eastern Europe. I'm sorry, and I think and one is, of the things a Republican veteran crazy. stood up and says, look, you hear veterans on both sides of the aisle saying this is not helpful for our national security. So okay. I can give you a long list of things that okay. Trump is doing that are not helpful to our national security either. And, and, but, and you may be you know, right. At least I'm here saying he did Russia one thing wants. right, which is, to, which, is to, which is to take this action against Assad I, 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 when he used I mean, my own view weapons. is the opposite we ought to be is true. This is the one wrong thing, but, but whatever. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on and explaining your views. <laughs> thanks, I appreciate it.